Welcome back, comic junkies. This is Scar Lore, bringing you another fucking video from iHeart Spoilers. Today, we are bringing you the Spider-Man Homecoming script leak. Mind you, this is the second script leak on Reddit, so who knows if this is true. So take it with a gallon of piss. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Our movie supposedly begins with a bank robbery in place, and of course, Spidey comes in to save the day, and he pulls out that spider signal thing that Tony Stark gave him in Civil War, and he tells the bank robbers, give up or I'll release the spider monster at you. And of course, the idiots give up. After Spidey leaves, one of the hostages goes, I think we were just saved by the daredevil, to which another one replies, no, that was your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Boom, then cut to the movie titles. The jits of the villain story in this movie is that Norman Osborn, who owns Oscorp Corporations, has now become one of the top leading tech company. And he did this because after the collapse of S.H.I.E.L.D., this son of a bitch went to hiring a lot of their scientists, as well as adopting a lot of their secret projects. They also mentioned that some of the top scientists in the world now work for Oscorp, including Otto Octavius. Nice name drop. And of course, Adrian Toomes. Tombs is set to get the nickname The Vulture from allegedly always stealing other people's designs and then reinventing them and passing them off as his own. In this movie, he is set to copy Falcon's design with a mixture of Iron Man's tech to come up with the Vulture suit. Unfortunately, he is unable to figure out how Stark makes the arc reactor, so his version of this suit apparently drains the life force of the user in order to power it. Due to how dangerous dangerous this suit can be, Toombs decides not to go through human trials, but Osborn does it behind his back, which leads them to get into some big fucking squawking argument. Osborn leaks out to the news that Toombs is experimenting on people and frames him, and so he becomes a fugitive on the run. He decides to break back into Oscorp to destroy the suit and all of his research so that Norman will not use it for his evil ways. But once he's inside, he is cornered, and so he is forced to put the suit on himself. Once wearing the suit, it begins to take the toll on him and drain his life, so he decides to alter the suit in order to drain the life force out of other subjects in order to keep him alive and stable. It is also said that he first starts draining the life out of small animals such as pigeons and rats. What the fuck? Pretty damn sick if you ask me. In Peter Parker world, he is apparently non-existent at school to all the other kids cause he's such a big fucking loser. The only kid he speaks to, of course, is Harry Osborne, who is always trying to get him to join the homecoming club meetings. And the homecoming dance is Avengers theme. It is said that Peter mostly is caught falling asleep in class or being late to all these meetings because he is trying to juggle being a normal kid and being Spider-Man. We also will see Flash Thompson once again bullying Peter Parker, leading to Flash punching him in the face, and Flash's girlfriend at the time breaking up with him because he's being such an asshole. And by the way, Flash's girlfriend will be Liz Allen, who apparently will be played by Zendaya according to this leak, and this would make a lot of sense if she does resemble her a little bit. Anyway, eventually Peter hooks up with Liz and they go to the homecoming dance. There is also a running gag about Aunt May wanting to hook up Peter with one of her friend's nieces the whole movie and Peter coming up with excuses and saying he doesn't have time. Also need to mention that Peter goes to school with Adrian's tomb's daughter as well. And she completely hates her father after the news spreads that he is fucking evil and shit cause Osborne framed him. Our first Spider-Man Vulture fight, Spider-Man will actually break the Vulture's life support system, not knowing of what he just did, and causes Adrian Toomes to age at a rapid pace. Toomes is now forced to drain humans in order to sustain himself, and just like in the cartoon, he will drain Spider-Man's life force. But we won't see Peter Parker turning into some old man, he'll just be weakened as the Vulture escapes. In between this, Peter is getting ready for the homecoming dance, and then Mr. Stark visits him. He talks to Peter about his problems and tells him he cannot interfere because he is under the accords and they will not allow him to take part in this mess. But he tells him he will help them out and he will give him a device to help him stop the vulture. 
Peter also asks Tony advice about women, to which Tony replies, I prefer redheads. And Peter is sad because he doesn't know any yet. Anyway, so he goes to the homecoming dance with fucking Liz, and then the vulture shows up because he wants to kidnap Harry Osborn. Spider-Man tries to fight him, but fails, and Toom escapes with Harry Osborn. Toom takes Harry to Oscorp and shows him all the crazy projects that his father has been working on, trying to turn his son against his own father. But Osborn shows up and explains to Harry that he's doing this for the better of the humanity, and so Harry sticks with his dad, and Toom is upset because he couldn't turn the son against the father the way they turn his daughter against him and then Spidey shows up and then they start fighting and they take the fight all over New York City they even pass through the Avengers Towers another little Marvel Easter egg there in the end Spidey uses a device handed to him by Tony Stark to stop the vulture by the end of the movie Liz is back together with Flash Thompson because Peter is always disappearing when there's trouble looking like a total fucking wimp since the first dance was ruined the homecoming committee decides to throw a second dance which Peter wants no pardon because he has had too much adventure for one day but Aunt May says that's not an option and she already fixed the date with her friend's niece and she also mentions Mr. Stark dropped by and left you a new suit which Peter fucking freaks out about but it turns out it's just a tux for the homecoming dance the doorbell rings and Peter and Aunt May open the door and then just like in classic comic book fashion this slut shows up and she's all like face it tiger you just hit the jackpot and so Peter takes off to the dance with Mary Jane and when they arrive at the homecoming dance, Peter is surprised that the new homecoming theme is Spider-Man. So we have a Spider-Man homecoming dance in honor of their hero, the end. Well, this certainly sounds like an interesting story. Mind you, this is the second supposed script leak. So if you want to hear about the other one, click on the link right there. Or if you're watching this on your mobile, click on the description below. Anyways, what do you guys think about the Vulture being the supposed villain for the movie? Personally, I would have enjoyed the scorpion or even the shocker fuck bring back the rhino and this time don't make it in a robot suit leave your comments below motherfuckers i want to know your opinions about this another thing is apparently michael keaton is back in talks to be the spider-man villain so who knows he might actually be adrian tombs or maybe norman osborne shit just think about it they already introduced the iron patriot before so will we see norman osborne and his dark avengers that would be fucking sick. Of course we wouldn't get Deacon, cause Fox owns that shit. Well, that about wraps this up. Spider-Man, homecoming, in theaters, July 2017. Go fucking watch it. That is unless that toupee wins the election and burns this country down. If you like this video, click on like and subscribe. Make sure you tell your friends about us. Leave your comments below. Please talk shit. And until next time, peace.